it's Jay. I will be doing my first ever favorites this year. It's gonna be my January favorites. And in this video, I will be showing you all the things that I have been loving all throughout the month. So without further ado, let's get started! So the first thing that I have been loving is the Solitech Dermal Science Acne Solutions um, line, I guess. But this is the toner and this is the moisturizer that I have been using every single day. And I could definitely tell there is some improvement in my skin. Um, this is the toner that I use with a cotton ball and just smear it all over my face. Um, it helps remove all of the excess makeup that is just clogged in my pores. And for moisturizer, I've been using this. This is their Acne Clearing Facial Moisturizer Gel. With it being a gel, it, I could definitely feel it filling in my pores. And with that, my makeup applies a lot smoother and actually does help control my oils because I've been less oily all throughout the day and as a student, I run from building to building and yes, I could definitely see a big improvement in my skin. And for makeup, I have been loving the Beauty Blender. This is just a regular pink one and it's dirty and tiny right now because I used it this morning. I'm so not prepared for this video but oh well. Um, but yes, I really didn't know what the rave was all about with this um, makeup sponge and I'm never going back to be completely honest. It just blends out my foundation really really well, it blends out my concealer really really well and I also use this for baking um, when it's damp so I just uh, put this under the running faucet and remove all the excess water so it doubles up the size if you're not familiar with a beauty blender but yes this is a definite definite winner I will be using this all throughout how many years. Um, so yeah, this is the Beauty Blender. Another makeup tool that I have been loving is the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. This is uh, from the Sam's Picks line. I have been using this to set my face um, with powder, uh, both pressed powder and loose powder. And it's been a dream. It's really, really soft. Um, it sets my under eyes really really well. I use this every single day and I heard you can use this for foundation as well and I tried that and I didn't really like it. But for powder, I highly highly recommend. And I've been loving a brow product all throughout this month as well. This is the Designing Brow Cara from the Face Shop. So basically this is a brow gel. This is in gray brown. I highly highly recommend this if you haven't tried any eyebrow gel in your life because it saves me so much time since I already have like kind of full eyebrows I just fill it in with this it perks up my eyebrows really really well it doesn't look fake it doesn't make my eyebrows look like a big block on my face um, it's very very natural um, it may look a little blonde actually on camera but it's the exact same color to my hair so I'm very very happy about that they have testers there so you can just um, test out what works for you and I actually got this buy one get one free and I got one for my mom as well the wand is really really tiny as well which is a plus because I'm not really a big fan of those um, brow gels that have a big big wand this is gonna be new for my channel but I have a fragrance as part of my favorites I rarely have a favorite perfume like every month but this I have been loving this January I received this from my grandfather's brother for my 18th birthday and um, I haven't been using this in the holidays I don't know why but I started using it for school and I really really like it it smells like it smells really really girly kind of fruity and floral at the same time which is so so weird but I really really like it it doesn't stay for as long as my R moment. That is my all-time favorite perfume. This doesn't stay as long. Uh, I forgot to tell you what it's called. This is Hugo by Hugo Boss. This is the ladies one, I think. I think they, they also have a men's version, but it's in a pink bottle. Now let's move on to fashion favorites. I have been loving two things. Fashion item number one is my Air Max. 90s this i got from my cousin in canada because i don't think that they sell these here 
um, like with the all white. I know that they sell one in the Nike store here in the Philippines with like a gum sole and I'm not really a big fan of that. I like the all white ones. They're kind of dirty right now because I've been using it like so much <laughs> for school. And this is actually a kid's size shoe. Um, I have really little feet. I am a size 6 and this is a size 4.5 wide and that's a really helpful fashion tip. If you're looking for some sneakers or these sneakers specifically or this brand, they have kids sizes. I found that the grade school size can convert to women's size and they're a lot cheaper. So if you're in a hunt for some new sneakers, go check um, the grade school section because it can save you a few bucks um, for the exact same shoe. So thank you Ate Jazz for these shoes. I'm very very thankful and very very happy with them. Um, these were actually her birthday gift to me. So yay! Yay for new shoes! And surprise surprise, they're all white because I'm so in love with white shoes. And for my next fashion favorite is actually a store. I've been loving Landmark recently. I've never properly looked into the clothes section, like the kids, not the kids section, what? The ladies section and the teens wear section because sometimes their displays are not really that eye-catching. You can get some good finds there for a very, very cheap price. So I highly, highly recommend looking into them if you're a fashion maniac like me. This may be TMI, but me and my mom um, did a shop there last weekend or last last weekend and we got eight items for only 1,700 pesos. But yes, I highly, highly recommend if you have a landmark store near you, go ahead and have a smooch around because you might find something you like. So for music, I have been loving all of One Direction's albums. I have been listening back to them um, all throughout January. Actually, also last month or last last month, I've been listening to their album non-stop. But yeah, I've gone back to listening to them. I miss them so, 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 so much. Um, if you're not aware, I'm a huge, huge One Direction fan. As you can see, if you've been paying close attention to my videos, you may have seen um, these figurines. These are like... 1D figurines from way way back. We are so so young here. Like this is the uh, One Direction phase that these were created. Um, I think this was 2011 or 2012. I'm not entirely sure but I still have them. I love them so so much. And if you're wondering what are my favorite songs, it's a tie between Better Than Words and Love You Goodbye. If you are not a big 1D fan, I highly, highly recommend listening to those and you might just like the whole entire thing. So that wraps up our January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And you can also click the little bell at the side of the subscribe button. It will notify you whenever I upload a new video. So. That is that and what else should I say? Oh! Comment down below some video ideas that you want me to do. As usual, I highly, highly appreciate them. And that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope I see you on my next video. Bye!